now let's create our hero here so before i start creating i'd like to export the image from here so that we can use without having any issues now first i would like to export this image from here and for normal image when it's uh, transparent we can use a png format instead using svg so svg will be using on small icons which needs sharper views and uh, less in kilobytes now select export or click export so as you can see the image has been exported when i open this image it looks like this it's a transparent image and now there is another image here you can see behind my photos which is if i hide my photos here you can see there is this there is an image this one this one and also there is a two image here so how can we export this one so we can select this mask here it's already grouped and select export you can see the image looks like this and for this type of type of images it's a good practice to use svg image to not lose the quality click on export mask group and we can rename this image we can make this image bg image or hero bg image so it should have a meaningful name here as always and now if i activate my image here again so if i okay so it's back now i just undo and the image is back and let's create our hero area we have our background image we have our uh, portrait photo image so now let's navigate to our home page editor so i can navigate from here uh, open a new tab or i can navigate from this editor area i can simply type here command k and home you can see the home page so this is the page and this is the template let's select the page and the home page looks like this so we can start adding content here directly inside the content area so this is the content area where we can add content the above areas is the template part so we should keep those part it will not gonna display on the front end part but if you if it seems like a little bit confusing to all of you do not have to edit from here you can simply navigate here and edit this into a page editor so this is the place you can also add content here as well let's close this editor and now type here cover and see, select a background color the accent color towards the light background color make the cover full width add a media here and upload our image so we have downloaded the image here and rename hero busy image and add an alternative text here select and now the image looks like this so make sure it should display perfectly and let's add a minimum height here and now you can see there is a two columns on the left hand side there is uh, image myself and the right hand side there is a content here so i i would say this is a heading one size so now we are going to configure the heading so if we if we just uh, use this one as a heading one so the heading one size should be 80 pixel which is huge but it's not ideal to use 80 pixel because we are going to use the heading one size globally on our other pages so that's why i would like to make the heading one size around 50 pixel because if i calculate the heading two size it's uh, 56 so the heading one should be 58 or 60 pixel which is perfect and i will add this size manually because we are going to use this bigger text only on the hero area now let's go back our hero area and add a two column first and make this column wide width add my image here first so upload my image add name it's a good practice to add 
relevant alternative keyword so that it ranks well on Google and display on search results. And now as you can see the image displaying at the bottom but it, there's a space at the bottom area. I would like to keep it at the bottom area here. So as you can see it looks much clear and perfect here. And now add content, add a heading. So let's copy the content from here, paste here, make it H1. I will add the size here, which is 80 pixel bold DM sense. Let's make it 80 pixel and also select on these three dots. Select the appearance, it should be the bold. Hit enter, paste the content here. And this should be 18 pixel and the color is light color. And there's a two buttons, a book a call and my works. Book a call and my works. So now the button, if you take a look at the site, the button looks different here and also our design. And if we want to change the button, we can do it from here directly or we can do it globally from our editor area. So now let's save this page. And the best thing is when you're using editor area, you can change the button from the right hand side. Right now, as you can see, there is no styles tab here because we are using page. And that's why there is no style step. But if we navigate to the editor from appearance and editor, we will have a style step where we can change styles globally. Now, as you can see, these are the templates. These are the uh, template part of the page template area. So we are not going to remove them and it will not going to create any issues as of now. So now the main things here when we are using editor, we have to add content inside the content area. Now it looks like this. So we are going to use this style step that I discovered. It's not available here when I, we are using page. But when we are using editor area, you can see the editor.php. And if you take a look at here, it's a post.php. So always make sure when you're using editor and inside the canvas, you can have the style step. But when you're using post or page editor, are you not going to able to change anything inside the style step? Do not get confused. It's very important to understand. Now I can go back to the style step here and go to the blocks, go to the buttons and select the button from here and adjust the radius to zero and make it looks like our design. So it almost similar. And I think we have to increase the padding on the left and right side a little bit. Now it looks perfect, I'd say. Let's make it 35. It, it looks much better now. And the secondary button, which is this one, we can do it manually because uh, all of them are the same format the only one so as per the ratio if we compare this uh, filler button has the ratio 80 percent and my works and other buttons are 20 percent on the whole website now we can simply okay sorry this is the page we can simply go to the editor again this is our editor area so select the settings tab from here and select the my work and change the background transparent it should be transparent and the text should be black color. I think it's a black color. Yes. And reduce the padding. And after that, add border bottom. So I, I have added border bottom here by pressing command and U. Uh, you can use a control and U from your windows. And now let's display them in the middle of this page so we have selected the column here and select this alignment which is the vertical alignment middle 
click save changes and reload our home page so now as you can see our home page has the title which is displaying from page template and the hero area looks like this but i do not want to display this title from page template we are gonna work on the template when we are creating different templates when we are working on page template single post template you will going to understand how the template works now let's focus on the page as of now so how can we disable this one if you want to disable the title you have to navigate to the edit page area so we can easily change our template from the editor if we click over here let's have a look inside the templates there is a template called page no title that means when we select this template it will remove our title and right now we are using the default page template which is pages this is the default one and that's why it has the thumbnail or featured image and the title here now let's go back to the editor and we have to navigate to the page and still we are using site editor here and now select the page and go to the templates and swap the template and select page no title so as you can see when i select page no title it looks clean and it looks much better right and it disable the other unnecessary part and now as you can see the header looks white color but if we take a look at our design the header has the same background color like the one that we are using here inside the here area let's navigate to the editor again and press command k type here header hit enter select the group select a style step add a background color and press command k and type here home and this is the home template this is the page click page and now it looks like this so there is a spacing uh, between this area and there is some other things we are gonna work on them step by step let's select click save changes here and reload so we have our here area and if we just take a look at our design it looks perfect here and much better now there is a follow me on behance dribble and instagram so we are going to add that part here and i'll try to keep or stick inside the editor i will not going to use the page editor from here in this series tutorial so that you can understand why it is important and how to use it let's add social icons here select buttons and press command alt y and it will add a new line below your selected area now type here row hit enter again press tab hit enter press tab hit enter and control paste or command paste here hit enter press slash type social icons or social and hit enter press tab hit enter type dribble hit tabs and hit enter so how easy it is right so i can use this very quickly and create any layouts rather than using any other page builder so behance and let's select behance here if i use uh, the keyboard shortcut continuously then you might get confused and that's why i'll be using keyboard and also mouse as well so that you can understand so you can change the color as well let's select the social icons and go to the style step you can select uh, the logos only you can select the default one and you can choose the icon background color to white color or let's have a look it's transparent and we can make it transparent and add a border here i think there is no options to add border manually here one by one so that's why we have to use a little bit background color here so it looks perfect now 
and if you just take a look at here it's displaying at the bottom of this area and how can we do that we can add padding top but instead adding padding top we can use other features like uh, we can use make it row and we can make space between if we really want to add some space instead of spacer we can make them so how i selected them i have press shift or holding the shift and click the elements that i would like to make them a group or a stack so i'd like to make them stack because it will help me to add a space between the items as well because if you take a look at here the space is a little bit higher and i can click over here and press alt and hover over the button or then pressing alt you can see it's displaying the 50 pixel board space between the button and text so i could i could select the stack here go to the styles and add block spacing here so i could add 50 pixel but i think 50 pixel would be much bigger 40 or 30 looks perfect here and now here is the stack and there is a row here what we can do we can simply select two of them and create another stack and then click on the styles and add block spacing so i'd like to space a large mode here and it looks much better than the previous version click save changes and it will gonna work on mobile tablet without changing anywhere so as you can see it looks perfect on mobile devices so if you want more customized design more customized features for responsive devices the default gutenberg doesn't allow you to do that in order to make things more perfect you have to use the spectra block or any kind of wordpress block extension like cadence now we have completed our hero area 